Wow, tremendous night, unexpected result, fantastic play from both Man City and Chelsea. It was 1-1 draw at Etihad. Chelsea, the visitor team, claims a one point at Etihad. Well, it's football and there's nothing you can do, like we also. We are going to be interviewing our fans to see what they have to say, particular, uh, particularly this particular star match, Man City against Chelsea. But before I do that, my name still remains Charles, and this is Final Whistle, the channel that brings you the best of the best when it comes to football analysis, football gist, story where they speak for body, fast reaction, and all that. And beside me here, I have um, official online official division again. Welcome, bro. Sure. Welcome, I see you are happy today. Um, I'm slightly happy. You know, I told my comrade by your left here. Yeah. You know, we did the preview together, and yeah. he was saying, he was saying, Doku, yeah, yeah, all yeah. these years. I was looking at him. He said, British player, young player. Who is Doku? Yeah. Man of Gusto <laughs> is the name. Who is the one? Who are you, Mr. James? 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 You predicted the lineup on our last interview, yeah. and it, it 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 was similar to what you predicted. Yeah. So, what do you think about your coach this time around? I think uh, he, he just got the lineup slightly wrong, yeah. slightly wrong. But at the end of the day, Sterling proved me wrong though because he started well, he scored the goal, and when they removed Sterling, we were seeing lapses there. I'm not, I'm not saying that Kuku is a bad player, but I'm only saying Kuku is our best finisher in the team. After Kopama, Nkuku is our best finisher. So, yeah, a game that you are trying to win against Man City side, put your best finisher in the team. Okay. I, I don't know who would have come uh, in place of uh, of uh, Sterling, though. But I, personally, I would prefer uh, this guy to start um, ahead of, what's it called? Ahead of uh, Sterling. Nkuku would have been there. And all those first half times that we had, that have netted it. Second half, that Nkuku came in, there were no chances for him to bury. We all know Nkuku is good in the box, but outside the box, there's nothing he can do. So, anyway, 1-1, one, one, I'll take it. We'll move to the next one. Yeah. Um, quick one, AY. Yeah, yeah. The Man City side, yeah. Glorish not in the squad, and Bernardo Silva played from bench. Do you think that affected the Man City squad? Yeah, it did a little bit. Um, going going into the match, Bernardo Silva was not was not, was not fully fit. Okay. I think uh, I was not even expecting him to be on on, on the line of not yeah. uh, being a substitute player. Yeah. So, but if we look at the the game critically. I think some of the key players that we were expecting to come to the party didn't come to the party. Players like Doku. Then, uh, I think I had a little bit of issue with um, um, Akonji playing in the middle. You understand? I was wondering if John Stones was, was available, like, giving them that flexibility in the middle, which uh, you know how that play. I think today I proved that to be like, so, um, Massey was not lucky. I think uh, even the first time we should have got three zero down. Yeah, yeah, I think we should have got three zero down. Yeah. And then it also proves that um, Gerrida is not a good uh, game manager. Yeah. When he's not, he does not have good game management when he's losing. I think he's always a good game manager when he's winning. So I think some of the players didn't come to the party. I expected Silva to, have, to have probably come up earlier, or probably return for the into the middle and give um, Alvarez instead of substituting Alvarez here, yeah, taking out Doku. Um, I don't know what Doku didn't have a good day today. He yeah. happens to play. Yeah, sometimes he have a good day, sometimes you know, but it doesn't change the fact that he's not, he's not a good player. Okay. Uh, anyway, another one again. Okay. Seventy percent to thirty percent must play Chelsea hands down. Do you think this is a good record for them? That's why playing one one. Like you, the result does not show the like compare. I think the result does not show. Um, yeah, the result is not there. Uh, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Now what I'm saying, you will know, match has always been possessive. Like, yeah. yeah. Only yeah. when they lose, they play possessive football. You yeah. understand? Judging by the results, we have to we have to come back, which eventually you wanted. They want they were playing for a draw. You understand? They were playing for a win. Like that's what they brought. They brought in those defenders. Like they didn't want to go away with the draw and then go away with the win. But eventually, we were able to get the goal. In the, at, at the final minute, you understand. So I feel like it, it's a plus on our side, just judging by the fact that we had to come back to score. But just because we have we have a greater ambition, we are we are probably uh, aiming the league. They are, they are going nowhere. <laughs> you understand? <laughs> Even they haven't spent a lot of money. Yeah. You understand? They are still on number ten. Yeah. You understand? It doesn't change the fact that they are still number ten. So I feel like we are we are ambitious. That's why the result is not looking favorable. Favorable. But compared to possession, we are always in possessive side. You understand? That time, right sometimes. So I think seventy thirty. Is a, is a fact that we are, we are winners. Okay, let uh, our quick one. Now, what do you think about Ewa's opinion on the 70 30 ball position? I don't think he's, he's doing justice to the match. You're only, you're only concerned about the no, result. No, it's not because <laughs> of the result. If we were to look at the team that was supposed to win this game, it's, yeah. it's Chelsea. Yeah. Chelsea came to win now. First half, do you know how many chances I didn't score? Yeah. If not for Anderson, the game, it would have been 2 0 up. Uh, 
Jackson missed the sitter now, one on one. So him saying, uh, Man City, give Chelsea the kudos they deserve. Yeah. They played better than Man City. Exactly. We are talking of uh, possession. The possession, where did they possess uh, Chelsea? In their own half, playing knocking balls around themselves. Uh, the Akonji is talking. Akonji had more thought than any player in this field. The defender having thought, is that a progressive play? Yeah. You are playing yourself. You are just as Fernandez, who is bossing Rodri. Yeah. Aside from the scrappy goal that, that Chaloba uh, deflected into the net, exactly. what did Rodri do? Nothing. Yes, yeah. Get Enzo Fernandez the credit that he bossed. You were saying Rodri, you were saying this. What the hell? Enzo Fernandez bossed this with the Sika Laga. Yeah. Interception, yeah. tackles. What does he want? Kaiseido brought, brought his game today. So what are you saying? See Kupoma as usual. Yeah. You are calling Alvarez, you are calling Rodri. Give, the, give Chelsea the, 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 the praise they deserve. Yeah, yeah. They, they, they played Manchester hands down. I'm talking about possession. Even first time. Should I remind him that they had no only one shot on target, yeah. which is just a minute. Chelsea had two shots on target, yeah. two attempts, two shots on target. And looking at the possession, in, I played Man City too. There was a uh, period of 10 15 minutes. I played Manchester City too. Almost uh, that's 70 30. I'm talking about. I understand that the overall play. Do you want to play my ball with Man City? You can't do the degree. I'm going to I'll take the draw. The draw is all, is all I came for. Yeah. Because later, after 20 30 minutes, I was saying they went for Chelsea. Yeah. By the end of the day, I'll take the draw. Yeah. yeah. Now, um, talking about the injury side. Sanchez is injured, and now uh, Petrovic is doing a fantastic work for Chelsea. Do you think Sanchez still have the chance of coming to take this first position from uh, Petrovic? Well, first of all, I will say kudos to the recruitment team that recruited uh, Petrovic. He's a good backup. Sanchez should be our number one because uh, I've seen some saves he, do, uh, he has done in, 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 in Premier League so far. He's an experienced player because he has played for Brighton over the years. But Petrovic is a good backup. But I will still prefer Sanchez as my number one. Okay. Yeah, talking about the forward, Nicholas Jackson, Nkuku, and uh, Stalin. Nkuku came out, came later actually, but we saw that there was no much impact from him. But Nicholas Jackson and uh, Ryan Sterling missing many chances. What do you think about your, your clinical aspects in the front? That, that has been the, the game of Chelsea throughout the season. Consistency. Yeah. Yeah. Even Ryan Sterling that came in today and scored scored today's goal. Tomorrow now you put it, you start telling and you start doing what, what you don't expect. So consistency has been, has been a problem. I've never doubted Nicolas Jackson's ability to play football. Exactly. But he's not a finisher. Yeah. So that's why I prefer him at the wing. Yeah. Because he can track back and help his left back or right back. And okay. he can create chances. Okay. Look, the chance, look at the chances he created. Yeah. So that's just it. But aside that, he's not a finisher. Yeah. But, so that's, um, that's what still brings me back to the fact that Okuku is our best finisher. He needs to be on the pitch from start, not second half, when everyone is, is exhausted and there's, there's no service for him to feed up. Exactly. So Okuku needs to start. Jackson yeah. can start more from the wing. Okay. Uh, anyway, many of you say we forget you. Uh, now, today game, Haaland, no go. Phil Folding, no go. Kevin De Bruyne, I don't think there's, there's no assist from him actually. So what do you think about these players not uh, uh, putting on their best? I don't, I don't want to say not their best, but what do you think about those players not impacting more on this game today? Every, every day is not Christmas. Exactly. Yeah, so every day is <laughs> yeah. not Christmas. There are, yeah. there are days that you have to do that you have to do about things as it is. So I feel like, um, overall, I, I won't say De Bruyne had to have a good play. Yeah. The fact that the, player, the, the, the um, strikers were not converting those chances yeah. is not, not a fault on the side. Yeah. Yeah, they I think the only players that didn't come to the party today were Vokon, Alvarez, and then Alan didn't. Alan didn't. Yeah. 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 I can assure you, going forward, I think they were lucky. They are lucky this is. Exactly. <laughs> they, are, they are lucky this is. Exactly. So you can check, you can check the plays now. Yeah. Don't get my pull, the possession. You shot that. You shot and go. You understand? Yeah. They are lucky this is. The first leg, they got 4 4. Now they are, they are, they are, they are running away with the 1 1. Okay. So I can assure him next season. <laughs> In Mr. Official, even the match official will not be able to save it from us. <laughs> exactly. So, today. Today. <laughs> okay, we would love to hear from you in the comment section what you think about this match. The first time those people meet, it was a 4 4 draw. And now, second leg, a 1 1 draw again. Tremendous, isn't it? Is. Now, there's nothing we can do in football. Stay tuned to find out which match we keep on bringing you the best of the best in football, analysis, fashion, and all that. <laughs> Stop fighting, official. <laughs> We'll see you next time. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to this channel. Thank you. <laughs>